Hi, I'm Mark Bunker, and I want to show you a little bit of video from a candidate forum here in Clearwater, Florida, from just a couple of nights ago. This is 15 minutes of footage that specifically talks about Scientology. Now, the entire event ran for an hour and 45 minutes, and we discussed all the issues of importance here in the city. I'm going to let you uh, take a look at the entire thing if you want. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. But I wanted to show you this because uh, there were five Scientologists in the audience who came expressly to heckle me. And it turned out that they had a favorite candidate that they also came to cheer quite loudly. So let's take a listen to my opening remarks. So I'm not your typical candidate. I, uh, I have spent my life in the media. And uh, I started out as the morning guy on a radio station way back in Wisconsin decades ago. I spent 15 years in LA working in front of and behind the cameras at Universal Studios, Disney, CBS and Paramount. And then for 10 years I worked in TV news in San Diego and I, I won an Emmy Award for my work. The other thing you need to know about me is I don't like bullies. And I moved here in 2000 to take on the biggest bully that I've ever met in my life. For decades now, the Church of Scientology has been sucking the life and the money out of downtown Clearwater. Oh, come on. And from about halfway through the evening. And I'm going to show you two responses here, both mine and one of my opponents, uh, Mr. Santana, who's also running for seat two. We're sitting right next to each other. The question was about the city wasting money to hire people to do a study and then putting that study in, in the drawer and hiring more people to do studies on the same thing and ignoring them. So uh, the best example I could think of is the Urban Land Institute um, that came in and said, those 10 studies that you did, those are all good. Just do that. Um, and, and that, of course, brings us back to Scientology. Now, what I, I was surprised by is that Mr. Santana seemed to be agreeing with the Scientologist. And not only that, he came prepared with an injunction that uh, Scientology uses to stop any type of protests. And he lifts it up at one point in his hand, and that's the first time I see that he's got a copy of the injunction. So you'll see me laugh at the, um, at the surprise of him holding that up. Um, so let, let's take a look at that. Well, I can tell you why uh, I believe the city hired the uh, Urban Land Institute to come in uh, a few years ago to talk about redeveloping downtown. I think that was $138,000 spent to cover their asses. Yeah. Because the Urban Land Institute, uh, they had a big presentation in front of the city and 
They said, listen, we've read all the 10 other reports that you've commissioned. Those are all good. Just do that. But the most important thing is, you've got to work together with the Church of Scientology. You've got to be partners. And I think it was just a way for the city to say, oh, well, there you go. Now we have an excuse to, to really try to, to bond a relationship. But what happened when they tried? Uh, they, uh, the city uh, announced the uh, Imagine Clearwater project. David Miscavige didn't get the piece of property he wanted for a pool for a condo. So he viciously attacked the head of the aquarium, David Yates, and, uh, and cut off all communications with the city and bought up all the property with cash and the LLCs. So we still haven't heard what they're planning to do with that. And that's why it's so important that we consider carefully how we go forward with Imagine Clearwater. Because if Scientology is going to just keep those buildings empty and keep being a deterrent for people coming downtown, we need to know that before we spend all this money. Uh, David Miscavige offered if he could get that piece of land that he would bring in a movie theater and a nightclub, he and Tom Cruise would be behind that, and he personally would bring in all these businesses that Scientology has scared away for decades. Well, it's up to him to now come through. He owns half the downtown. He needs to start bringing some of those businesses here to show that they can be a help. What was the question again? <laughs> In the past, the city has hired consultants, ignored the recommendations, and hired yet another group of consultants to review the same task. What will you do to ensure good project management? When you have a preset notion of what you want, and you pay for a, for a consultant to come in and they don't tell you what you want to hear, then you spend more money for another one and another one and another one. And, and I think that this is the loop back that we have. Uh, we have people that they want to hear something and they want to have that paperwork to be able to affirm that that is there. And we need to cut that off. If, if we internally don't have the expertise to be able to come up with what is reasonable and rational, that's when we hire an expert to come in and consult them, but not to, not to be able to get that that we want, I mean, to be able to reinforce that information. You know, I, the reason why I asked the question is because I, I got lost, you know, is, is in, in, in some of the uh, uh, things that were being said. It is, you know, it, it's, it just baffles me, it just baffles me, you know, that that our city, if if we have somebody that is in our city that in the city council is going to be able to have the city bankrupt because we're gonna have to have a huge amount of money to be able to protect uh, our citizens and to be able to, all of the money that we have for the parks department, all the money we have for all of the infrastructure is gonna go away in order to pay for legal attorneys to be able to protect uh, city because of the attacks that are being done by individuals that only have one thing in mind and that is to have that a reality show. I am not here to be able to promote a reality show. I'm here to be able to live my life and battle my faith. We need to minimize the cost by being able to have somebody in this office that will not cause additional cost to our city. Alright. When it was my turn again to speak with a new question, uh, it just so happened that it also fit in with uh, what we were talking about. And I took this opportunity to respond to Mr. Santana. And this is how that went. What are your top priorities for the Clearwater Community Redevelopment Area, the CRA, and how do you plan to see that those priorities are acted upon and completed? 
Well, you, you've heard me speak about Scientology's <coughs> involvement in the downtown and how they've been in detriment and sucking the life out of them. I just like to show you this that I noticed. Excuse me, Mr. St. Uh This is. I was wondering why I was talking about a reality show. Apparently, that's what my campaign is. This is the Scientology injunction that he has in his hands here. An injunction from the Sixth District Court. Not from Scientology. Sir? That's a judicial Sir? injunction against you. Thank you. I'll be happy to address any of this afterwards. I know you cited you. You're taking the away your time. Protection okay, you. please. Now, the day after I announced on YouTube that I was planning to run for office, the PR representative, Pat Carney, came uh, or called Lena, who is also running for C2, and she said, what do you think about Mr. Bunker running for office? We can't let him do that. And said, you know, what, do you, what would you think if, if we ran a candidate? And I'm not accusing you of being in their pocket, but clearly they're providing you information to attack me. Um, so uh, here's here's what I say. Here's why I I, I, I talk about Scientology. It's not the people. Even these people here who hate me and who I notice have been cheering loudly for Mr. Santana every time he talks, and with, with some good reason. Now, you're not a bad person, I'm sure. And these people aren't bad people. But they're told that I'm evil. Wow. They're told so that bad. anyone who attacks Scientology is a wow. criminal. Okay. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to show we don't need to be afraid. It's not the Scientologists that's the problem. It's the organization. It's the, the organization's policies. It's not faith. It's actions. And the organization was built around a paranoid uh, and, and <laughs> incredibly uh, eccentric character of L. Ron Hubbard himself. Religious oh, discrimination! Yes, not religious bigotry to say that. Religious discrimination. Ma'am, not cool. Ma'am, please be quiet. You're disrupting the meeting. We, Will you please be quiet? We, we have five we have five candidates. Five candidates running for C2. Five candidates. And I will tell you that the other three candidates are people that are well meaning, people that that have roots in this community, people that truly want our city to thrive. They're looking after the best interest of our city. It is unfortunate that one of these five candidates has hatred in their heart and self-motivation to be able to do what they're doing. And it's obvious, you heard that, you heard all that yes. conversation. It is important to make sure that we have somebody in can, the Can we room. stick to the question? Yes. What was the question? <laughs> Good job. So the next time I was able to speak, I wanted to address the fact that Mr. Santana said that I have hate in my heart, which is not true at all. And I, so I, I took it a little astray from the question, um, and the moderator rightfully told me to get back on track. But I, I, I couldn't let that go. So this is just a little bit of that response. Well, I think as you've been able to tell that I, I'm not a shrinking violet. Uh, I also don't have hate in my heart. I don't. I have compassion. That's why I do this. I don't hate any of the Scientologists out here who are cheering at I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Um, so, uh, the reason... What's your experience? So, my experience is caring about people over corporations. So now we come to our final statements at the end of the forum. And I'm just going to play mine. I, I threw out any ideas of what I was going to talk about at the end of the forum to address all of these attacks and try to explain that it's not religious bigotry to say that Scientology has some things about it that really need to be reformed. 
Uh, and I, you know, <laughs> I, I tried to make my point. So let's take a look at that. Well, here we go. Um, I wasn't going to dwell on this, but um, it's not religious bigotry when you say Catholic priests shouldn't be molesting children. That's, that's just humanity speaking. And in the Catholic Church, I remember when, the, uh, when this news broke out again 10 years or so ago, there were half the congregation at the Boston Church outside protesting and half inside worshiping. They're all deeply religious believers. You, you can be able to uh, criticize the behavior without taking away the faith from anyone. And with Scientology, all I've been asking for years is just reform. Stop the practice of disconnection where you force families to split up. Stop uh, the RPF, the Rehabilitation Project Force, where these workers you see walking down the street. What does this have to do with your job? Nothing, ma'am. It has nothing to do with your job. So what we need to do, what we need to do is, uh, is try to help Scientology reform so people won't be afraid of going downtown and dealing with them. We need to show some good faith effort from, from, organization, from the organization to show that they can be the good neighbors they pretend to be. One example is the, the Scientologist who owns the buildings where the Clear Sky restaurant is, for example. He's a great landlord. I have no complaints about him. If, if the rest of them can behave like that, well, that's wonderful. And I welcome them owning the properties and not interfering with people's business needs. I've been going downtown and shooting little interviews in different restaurants to tell people, come on down. There's great places to be downtown. And I would like to see the, uh, the downtown come back to life. But this is a problem that we have to face. So I, I just wanted to share that bit with you. It's not that I wasn't expecting this. This is the type of thing that Scientology does to not just shut down communication, but also to dead agent a person to try to convince other people that you shouldn't listen to what the speaker is saying because they're a religious bigot. Well, that's not the case at all. That's a technique, a, stop, uh, a thought stopping technique that Scientology uses. And the city needs to be aware of how Scientology behaves. And they need to know that, well, they, they need somebody who has a backbone and is not afraid of Scientology. I mean, I specifically put a target on my back for this race to say, listen, we have to find a different way of dealing with Scientology than just hoping and praying that they're going to suddenly be nice and partner with us when all Miscavige wants to do is stab us in the back repeatedly. And that message got across to the audience um, so many people came up to me afterwards to shake my hand and tell me uh, how much they appreciated me taking on Scientology. The five uh, Scientologists who came to disrupt, they didn't even wait to hear all of the closing arguments. There were two other candidates that we didn't see in this tape tonight, but were speaking on all of the issues. You can see, if you take a look at Kathleen in this photo here, she's like this, oh my God. Um, as nobody expected the Spanish Inquisition. Um, and I, you know, I've opened Pandora's box where uh, things like this are bound to happen. The, uh, the folks behind the Clearwater uh, Neighborhood Coalition, they actually called the police in the middle of this. They did a pretty good job of, of shutting down most of the protests as it went along. And then the five protesters, they got up as soon as I gave my argument and then 
uh, Mr. Santana gave his closing argument, they hopped out of their seats and went out the door without even caring to hear what uh, Kathleen and Scott, the other two candidates, had to say for their closing arguments. So they came with a purpose, they, they uh, achieved that purpose, and according to a reporter who talked to me afterwards, all five of them got in one car and drove away. So, mission accomplished. Uh, at any rate, I, I, I don't blame them. They're, they're told that I'm a criminal and they're trying to strike a blow. Um, but it's, it's so... It's such a, a missed opportunity because I'm always happy to talk to any Scientologist. Calmly, I, 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 you don't see me shouting back at them. I'm not calling them names. Uh, I, I would be happy to meet them and spend as long as they'd like uh, talking with me. Of course, they don't want to talk at all. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of sad because Scientology preaches that communication is the universal solvent, and yet there's no communicating if uh, if they're told that this person is a suppressive person. You can't trust him. He's as bad as Hitler. I don't think I am. <laughs> and I think I'm fighting for what's best for the city. And I, I, I hope you agree, and I, I hope that the citizens of Clearwater agree in a big enough um, turnout that we actually have a chance to win this race. Because I, I believe that's more than possible. We just have to keep getting the message out. And you can help with that because we need a lot of money now to get out mailers. We have to send out um, cards and brochures uh, to all the registered voters in Clearwater. And that costs a lot of money. And our deadline is really close because soon the uh, mail-in ballots are going out. And you want to have this information in voters' hands before they get the mail-in ballot. Otherwise, they might, might not know, oh, I guess I should vote for Mark Bunker. Well, if we're not reaching them and they vote before they hear about me, well, that's, you know, that can't be fixed. So if you can make a donation at markbunker.com, that would be so, so appreciated. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.